Hey there everyone, it's Thackard, and welcome back to more Survival Fountain of Youth. And today we are going to be discussing maintaining your health. Now, it doesn't matter how long you play this game, eventually you are going to get injured and you will have to heal yourself back up. Or you might get an illness or disease and you're going to have to treat it. So today we are going to be looking at those specific things, and hopefully this will give you the information you need to deal with these issues when they arise. All right, let's get to it. No matter how good you play the game or how careful you are, eventually you are going to run into issues with your health. Now, maybe you've taken damage from an animal attack or you have fallen off a ledge or, you know, didn't have enough food, water or energy and you took damage that way. Eventually, you're going to have to get to a point where you try to heal that. Now, to, there are a couple ways to heal, and the main way is to sleep. You have to have your food and your water up above a certain level, and that's all dependent upon your difficulty level. The higher the difficulty, the more food and water you need to be able to heal. And then you sleep and you'll heal up over time. Now, there are some things that block that from happening, you know, and most of those are injuries. You can get injured by getting cuts and you can get those from animal attacks or falling off things you can fail crafting you can fail harvesting all those things can cut you up you can get poisoned by snakes or scorpions you can eat bad food and get food food poisoning you can get uh catch cold and the flu by standing out in the rain and the cold and the wind and you can even get burns from either sunburn, being out in the sun without protection, or getting burned by using your fire. All of these different things can injure you, and while you are injured, you will not be able to heal. So, how do you deal with all these different injuries? Well, we're going to take a look at that, alright? First off, we're going to take a look at some of the plants that you need to heal up. Now, all your medicinals are going to require one thing in common, and that is wide leaves. Now, I've gone and collected plenty of them, but out here in the forest, you can get wide leaves off of a lot of things, such as this plant over here. We'll grab a couple more here. And so we're always going to need some wide leaves. Now, if we are wanting to heal up our cuts, we'll need to make bandages. And we will also need some narrow leaves for that. So we have some stuff for our bandages here. Up next, we're going to grab some tobacco leaves here. And this will allow us to heal up burns. This will allow us to make a tobacco compress to treat our burns. Over here, we have some hibiscus. We can use hibiscus to make a po uh, potion, no, a medicinal thing jeez words we can use the hibiscus to make some medicine to treat uh, the cold or the flu and over here we have some chamomile now chamomile is used to treat stomach issues and the last thing we could grab is some scorpion tails i've already grabbed a couple of those and scorpion tails will allow us to treat the uh, poisonings we might get from wall scorpions or things like the uh, snakes. All right, so we've returned to our base over here, and I've already collected some of these, but I wanted to show you where ch uh, flowers they come off of. Oh, I, hang on a second. Let me show you what they also look like on the map as well. Okay, so we were right over here, and... Uh, Things that we were gathering were, we were gathering tobacco leaves, and on your map this is a pair of leaves, pretty easy to find. Hibiscus, and that's just kind of a flower on your map. And then chamomile, which is this flower that's big circle, divide up into a bunch of wedges, you know. So finding these things isn't that hard. You'll find a lot of the chamomile in these wide open areas while things like hibiscus tend to stick to the jungle areas as well as the tobacco. It likes being on the edges of the jungles a lot as well. All right, 
So we have gotten quite a bit of items that we need. A poor navy coat, it broke. Sadness. All right, so we're going to grab a whole bunch of these wide leaves because we're going to need them. And we're going to grab a whole bunch of narrow leaves because we're going to be making up those bandages. And I'll grab all of this stuff. I think the only thing I don't have right now is any scorpion carcasses. Which is fine. Because we know what they all look like. And I already have some of those made up. Now, we're going to process our medicine over here on the fire. And I'm using a hearth, but you can do this on a standard little fire to begin with. That's no problem. And we'll just go down here, and these are our medicinals here that we can make up. We're going to make up a couple of bandages, and each bandage requires two wide leaves and one narrow leaf. So we'll make up five of these. We'll make up three hibiscus petals here like i said those are for treating the cold we'll make up a pair of tobacco compresses for burns and we'll make maybe five of these chamomile juices now the reason why i made like so many chamomile juices is because it always seems that if you're going to get some type of illness something like the Foodborne illnesses are usually much easier to get than other types of illnesses. So the only other one that's easier to get is definitely the cuts. So we have also made up a whole bunch of bandages as well. Now, there are a couple other ways for you to heal up. And one of them is to make up some bread. This is a special recipe. And these are the baked cakes. And we use breadfruit and eggs to make these. So we're going to make a whole whack of these, about five of these. And what the bread uh, baked cakes do is it gives us 27 food and it will heal us for five. And that's over 32 minutes, but we will heal up five of our damaged health. If we look at this right here, we have... Uh, you know, we need to heal up some here, so we will uh, have one of those. And over time, we're going to heal up those five points of damage. Now, I'm going to cook up all this meat as well, because we're going to need to make sure we are nice, nice and healthy. I don't know if you were left. That's fine. How much we got left? Five hours. I won't be able to get most of them. I've actually fallen below my water intake. That'll work. Yep. So we'll roast up this meat. There we go. Store some of that. And we will also munch on this a bit. Wonderful. Excellent. Now those are the basic types of healing that we can get. There are also a couple more healing items that we can use. Now, some of them are still locked up, and we won't be able to use those until later on. But there are a couple of other ones that we might be able to deal with, and that is Crush Sage, which is for a fever, although I have personally never gotten a fever in game. And then this one is a straight-up healing potion. So we're going to work on that one next now to make that up we are going to need a couple of different supplies here I'm going to sleep really quick so we can do this and we are going to have to light up our fire again just gonna stick them all on there but there we go all right and i need to grab my water there we go. Switch these guys out. And I also have my Dorado fins. I got these fins earlier. I got that from fishing. So we're going to light this guy up. Wonderful. What we are going to do now is we are going to hook up those Dorado fins. And so what we want to do is on our, on our hearth here, we go to water tank. And this will allow us to add water 
into the hearth. So we're just going to put all that water in there. Alright, there we go. We do have it. Alright, so we are going to process these. Excellent. So now we have boiled Dorado fins. And that means we can make some coral powder. Now to do that, we are going to have to be over here on our chemistry bench. So we're going to come on down here. One second. Uh, I think I can also do something else down there. Yeah, so I'll take our sage with us. I grabbed some sage earlier. And we're going to wander on down here. Oh, I need more coral. Got my coral. There we go. It's hard to make coral powder without coral, you know? All right, so we're heading over here to our chemistry workbench. And we can make up crushed sage. And like I said, this helps us deal with... I need a mortar. I thought I had a mortar. I haven't gotten one yet. Hang on a second, guys. Let me go grab my mortar. All right, so we're at our workbench here. Wheat bench, workbench. And so let's make up this crushed sage. And uh, how many do we want? Looks like we can do the one. All right, so let's make that up. We are completely wet, but that's fine. Oh, I have a full inventory. Hang on a second, let me drop some stuff. There we go. Pick this back up. Now, the other thing that we can craft on our workbench here is this new item here. And this is coral powder. This requires the purple coral and the boiled Dorado fin. But this acts as a heal over time. It's a health potion, medicinal, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to craft this up. Wonderful. Excellent. So now we have the rest of our kind of healing stuff that we can use. We have our crust, crushed sage. I'm going to have to put these in a different box. Oh, well. And we also have our coral powder. Now I could use this coral powder, but it's going to heal 63, which is overkill for what I have here. And for this damage that we have here this is just easy enough to deal with by eating some good food and we will also drink some water and we have gotten our food and our water up to full take as much of this as we can wonderful so now that we have our food and our water up to 100 for us we would need to get them up to 60 but they are far past that we can now adjust our sleep to heal up as much as we would like. And so here we go. Excellent. Okay, so now we are completely healed and we are good to go. So yes, there are three ways to heal. You can either heal via the bed and sleep. You can heal by eating these baked cakes or you can heal by using the brand new coral powder. All right, guys, that is how to heal up and how to make medicines to treat injuries. If you have any questions about medicines or healing, please leave them down below in the comments. If you have anything unrelated to those topics, you can also leave those questions down in the comments, and I will try and answer everything the best that I can. If you're looking for more Survival Fountain of Youth content, you can always check out my Twitch page between 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. Tuesdays and Thursdays, I will be streaming. That's Eastern time zone, by the way. So 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern, I will be streaming Survival Fountain of Youth Tuesdays and Thursdays over on Twitch. So I hope you all had a great time and learn things. And, you know, go out there, enjoy yourselves, and make sure you guys survive. If you enjoyed or disliked this video, I do hope you comment on it and give it a thumbs up or down. If you want to see new videos, please hit the subscribe button and to be notified of new content when it comes out, hit the notification bell. But for now, thanks for watching. 
Have yourself a great day, and don't forget to bring it no matter what you do. And I will see you guys in the next video.